Tonight at 9, those lovable squishy bears are loose in New York City. Wow, New York! Just like I pictured it. The skyscrapers and everything. If we can make it here, we'll make it anywhere. Come on, you guys. Let's go for a walk through beautiful Central Park. Hold on, guys. If we're going to walk through beautiful Central Park, we owe it to our big city fans to look our best. I know, guys. Let's put on our most expensive jewelry. Join them for an unbelievable adventure as they take a bite out of the Big Apple. Gee, it sure was nice of those people in the park to hold our valuables while we see more of New York City. Oh, yeah. All those jewels clanging seem to really be bothering people. Look at the size of the crowd who gather to help us be more quiet. How dim is the light bulb in your bare heads? We bears were mugged. Our New York trip is a disaster. What next? What <laughs> next? Hey, guys, from up here, you have a beautiful view of this magnificent city. Just look at the lights of old Broadway. Yeah, neat. It's beautiful. I love New York. Are you mad? Where is the paw of the giant monkey? Boy, isn't New York exciting? They're going to turn this place upside down. Tonight at 8, don't miss the Squishy Bears in Squishy Barefoot in the Park. Kumbaya, Squishy Barefoot in the Park? The only Squishy Bears classic film I've never seen. Boy, I can't wait to see this. Nothing's going to make me miss that movie, I'll tell you that. I... Huh? Hello. My name is Steven. I am a squirrel. We just moved into the tree next door. Pleased to meet you, Steven. I meet the cat. Welcome to the neighborhood. Eek. I was wondering if you'd like to join me and my family for a pretzel. Kumbaya, new neighbors, and a pretzel. I'd be honored. This is my family. My children, Hallie, and Acorn, and Steven Jr., and Gunther, and my wife, Susan. Gee, it's sure swell to meet you all. Welcome to the neighborhood. Well, Hallie, Acorn, Stephen Jr., Gunter, or Susan, does anyone have any questions for Eek? No. 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 Well then, let's dig in. Hmm, <laughs> excellent pretzel and unsalted. How novel. Did you make these yourself, Susan? No. Hey, kids, you know there's a neat movie on TV tonight called Squishy Barefoot in the Park. A lost Squishy Bears classic. Do you like the Squishy Bears? No. 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 Hmm. My wife Susan and I only allow our children, Hallie, Acord, Steven Jr., and Gunther, to watch educational television. Therefore, we only subscribe to one cable channel. The Driftwood Channel. Did you enjoy your pretzel? My wife, Susan, would be insulted if you didn't have seconds. Kumbaya, I'd love another pretzel, Susan. We don't have any more. Well then, Eek, would you like to see Gunther's room? That'd be swell. <coughs> hey, wow, uh, Gunther. That's really quite a, uh, quite a neat pillow. Gunther's very proud of his room. Well, I, uh, thanks for the pretzel. I really enjoyed visiting, but I better get my little self home. I have to help the, uh, kids, uh, re-sew these stitches in their, uh, the part that broke. Please visit any time. Well, bye-bye. Kumbaya, what a swell family of squirrels. And so giving. That pretzel was delicious. And plenty of time before the Squishy Bears movie. Say, what's this? I better coil this up so no one trips over it.
Oh, hi, Sharky. I found this rope outside. I thought it might be yours. Hey, you're redecorating. The paint job's very, uh... Very, uh, mod. Sharky gave up. There's nothing behind me but that growing dot on the horizon. <laughs> Eek, what a pleasant surprise. By Fably Halley, Acorn, Stephen Jr., Gunther, and Susan. Get such a kick out of you. Come on, I've got something to show you. This is us at the October Pretzel Fest. There's Hallie and Acorn, Steven Jr., Gunther, and Susan. Gee, Steven, your family sure can, uh... It. You think that's something? Wait till you see these. That's us at Christmas. There's Hallie, Acorn, Steven Jr., Gunter, and Susan. President's Day. Halloween. Arbacist Day. Oh, this is great. This is Arbor Day. See, we're trees. There's Hallie, a decord. David Jr., Ed Guter, Susan. Oh, here's Secretary Day, Valentine's Day, Easter, Martin Luther King Day, Hanukkah, Memorial Day, Passover, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day. On the 4th of July, we got a little crazy. See, we are dressed like firecrackers. There's Hallie, and Acorn, and Steven Jr., Gunter, and Susan. I hate to say it, but we're out of film, Zeke. I like to touch the pretty ponies. Well, I guess we've had enough excitement for one day. I'm going to have trouble getting these wound-up kids to sleep. Say goodnight to Mr. Eek. Good night. Good night. Good night, Eek. I will help you wash the chariot, your majesty. <laughs> Newspaper taxis coming to take me away, mommy. <laughs> Hello, you must be one of our new neighbors. My name is Steven. Would you like to come in for a pretzel? I tell you, we have driven by the giant iron lady with the book and the torch and the funky haircut seven times now. The restaurant, it was supposed to be three blocks from the hotel. This is costing the fortunes. Oh, come on, Pierre. This cab driver's from right here in New York City. He knows where he's going. Yeah, and how do you know there's not more than one of those big lady statues in New York? Now give the man more money. Yeah, give him more money. Yeah. 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 I wonder whatever happened to Sharky. There's Hallie, and Acorn, and Steven Jr., and Little Booter, and there's Susan. <laughs> Thanksgiving, and Easter, that's us at Halloween. We went a little crazy on the 4th of July. So this will be my last log entry before touchdown back on Earth. I'm all alone. The rest of the crew abandoned ship near Alpha Centauri in order to catch a later flight back to Earth. The poor stupid fools obviously didn't realize that that flight has a 30-day layover on the planet of beautiful women. 
Boy, are they gonna be sorry. Doofuses. Our mission to search the universe for strange and exotic food additives has proven fruitless. Now I, the ship's cook, am left alone to pilot the ship home. I should sleep for three months. If famed physicist Dr. Eddie's theories prove true, the Earth will be completely different when I get back. It will be square. Birds will wear big funny shoes and every human being will look just like Prince. Dr. Eddie was a fool. Whatever kind of people await me back on Earth, I only hope they're not as stupid as the ones I left behind. That's all I ask. No more. No more stupid humans. Does the hurting stop? Oh, hey, Bill. You found my coconut. I was playing catch with myself, and I threw it really, really high, and then I couldn't see it anymore. But here it is. Too bad it broke. It must have hit something really hard. Hit something hard. Hit something hard? I'll show you hitting something hard. You may not want to use that stick, Bill. Oh, really? And why not? Well, Bill, there's a jungle slug on it. Huh? Ah! You hear that, Doc? It's them, the humans. They're right over there. Now we have them. Are you finished assembling the launcher squad? All set, Doc. I followed the instructions down to the last letter. Good. Then you may fire when ready. Uh, gee, Squad, it looks like you, uh, had these instructions backwards. I'm sorry. I'm sorry isn't going to get us back our multi-million dollar weapon, now is it? No. Gee, guys, I wonder where the missile went. We dinosaurs are doomed. I just know it. Okay, we've messed up our new audio grenade launching system. We will just have to carry on with nothing but our wits and intelligence for weapons. Uh, gee, Doc, doesn't that leave Squad unarmed? <gasps> huh? Your evil plan is insidiously delightful, your vileness. Those fools in Jurassic City will never see us coming. We'll rise from the harbor and launch our missile before they know it hit them. If you and the aquatic crew prepare the submarine for launching, the rest of you come with me. My upper lip needs waxing. You hear that, guys? The Thunderstorms are up to no good! Just ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Aw, oh, nuts. Oh, where am I? Hmm. According to this windshield, I'm heading right for that mountain. Good, I... Mommy! Enough food for three months, water for a year, communications equipment, medical supplies, survival gear, Come on, Bill! The jungle slug's gone now! Do I have to eat my brain? Jungle slug chewed on my head? All this talk about eating is making me hungry. Bill? Do you smell that? Smells like someone's cooking something yummy. Food. Cooked food. I think the smell's coming from the primate side of the jungle. Oh, great. The primates. Come on. Let's see what they're cooking. Oh, all right. But I am not putting up with any snide remarks. the saber tooth dragged in. Hello, Phil and Schooner. Discovered fire yet? Changed your mind about using a cactus as a loofah? Figured out that Hunter Gatherer isn't the name of a TV star? <laughs> Hello, primates. 
We were just wondering how your evolution is going. Oh, but a fork in us, Scooter. We're done. Our evolution is finished, Fini. There is nowhere else to go. Now, you two, on the other hand, one can only hope that one day you'll at least grow hair on your bodies. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead and laugh. You think you primates are so smart, so superior, so advanced. Well, let me tell you something about... about... I, uh, I'm sorry, what, what were we talking about? We smelled something yummy and... making the grapes. A light dessert-like delicacy. Could we try one? If I make the many grapes for you and your unwashed compatriot, will your human filth honor us apes by going back to your old side of the jungle where your terrible and offensive odor will not reach our sensitive monkey noses? It's a deal. That's very kind of you. Kind, Scooter? If I didn't know better, I'd say we'd just been insulted. Yeah. <sighs> now, s'il vous plaît, be gone with you. Thanks a lot. You really are an incredible cook. Say, I'd better help you out with this fire. It seems a little high. Someone could get hurt. Here, I'll cool it down with this water. No, you fools. That is not! Human scourge! Get them! Cross them! Alonzo! Saddle up the polo horses! <laughs> Can't go much further. Gotta find food. Haven't eaten since breakfast two, three hours ago. Someone coming. I. <coughs> Humans, I. I think. They went this way! I shall pop their heads with my mallet! Oh, forget it. They're gone. Let's get back. I've got a bridge game at three. Yes, I'm tired. Let's go. That's enough fun for one day. Oh, yum, Bill. These crepes are so good and I'm so full and happy, I could just sit here and smile all day. Great. Uh, you, uh, you just do that, Scooter. Just leave me alone. Huh? A human. A human being! What have they done to you? What have they done to... You got out his brain, you dirty rotten ape! What? You got out his brain! Hi, I'm Scooter. What would you like your crepe stuffed with? Oh, I'm... I'm very sorry. I have Jurassic City in my sights. Uranus one. Good Biff, prepare to fire. Activate the missile. Doc, that sounds like they've activated their missile. We must bend the missile tube away from Jurassic City. Fire! Hmm, now that isn't right. Biff, outside, look! Thunder lizards! Blast them! Something tells me that was a bad idea. Boy, it's great to have a new friend. You're gonna love it here. We'll take great good care of you. You'll be safe with us. Then again, maybe not. Where's our new friend, Bill? I don't know, Scooter. He just ran off screaming. That way, out there. What do you think you'll find out there, Bill? His destiny. Well, guys, we saved Jurassic City. And we had a nice swim. And we helped some hungry sharks. Humans here, stupider than on Earth. Huh? Oh, good grief. It's happened. They finally did it. The fools, they finally really did it. They made the world 